What is up guys, your boy Axel here, and today I am bringing you another Ninja Heroes game. Last time we talked about the basics of the game, and yeah, um, we're doing server 20. Um, I'll name myself Axel probably, just so that y'all know. But basically it starts off with, um, um, I haven't watched this in forever, but I believe it just shows the nine tails. That's Obito right there. Um, sorry, this is spoilers. If you don't know it, I will post this in the like this like the name of the thing, so y'all can see it just to be aware. Um, yeah. So basically, the graphics aren't that great like for this, but basically, you see the nine tails destroying the village. Um, that's it. That's yeah. It's as far as it goes, and then we go into this battle. Uh, Toby. His name is Toby. Um, but yeah, uh, Jiraiya says, "Who is it? How dare you raid into the village? So our great three ninjas are belittled." So I forgot to tell you—I forgot to tell you all this, guys. But this is written by a bunch of uh, Indians, not Indians. Uh, what do we call them? Uh, people from the south, the southeast. So the English is a little off, but it's acceptable, kind of. But sometimes it will not make sense. But yeah, Toby says. Great three ninja wars. The ninjas are the bane to this world. Look. So basically it does a meteor shower. These are skills that anyone can get. So it's not really necessarily their skill. But yeah. As you see on the left. Uh, you have certain people. Dry dies. But that's not how he really dies. Y'all know that. And then the third Okage says. Sarangan. Are you Madara? Movement. So he basically gets all these people to come after him. And yeah. And then Minato says. Punta. Let's join them. And. That doesn't kill Toby exactly, but yeah. And then Toby says, It's no resisting, Ninetales. Wipe out the hidden leaf. And Minato says, Chakra of Ninetales is awesome. Kushina, please forgive my choice. I'll seal Ninetales. And basically, he does the Death Reaper seal, and Toby dies, but Minato dies also. <laughs> Uh, Twelve years later, um, if you've read, if watched the anime or if you've uh, read the manga, it says the ninja. Basically, it starts twelve years later. Um, basically, it says name it. I uh, named the village, but I'm naming it just my actual character name. So we'll go with that. Um, basically, you're the Hokage. <laughs> um, yeah, Sakura. You have a job tomorrow. Why are you still walking around? And yeah, I'm doing stupid voices, guys. I know that, but I'm just doing it so y'all aren't bored and bald, bored to tears. And it says, I'll definitely become Hokage. Do I still need to prepare for the trial? And Sakura, idiot, go and find Teacher Ruka for practices with me. So basically, guys, um, it explains what to do, points and tells you where to go. And yeah, each time you go to a new, a new battle, it will always have new talking. I'm not going to read this because I'm bored now. But yeah, basically you can speed up the battle in the middle right here, the very bottom middle. But yeah. So as y'all of course know, Naruto beats the fuck out of Aruka with his sexy harem jutsu. And yes, you do level up a shit ton, guys. Like, it's not even funny. So, um... Okay, we got Rizengan. So, we'll enter here. And when you get a new... Uh, well, aside from the free skill, we'll get Kage and Bushin no jutsu. Um, after that, if you get a scroll or whatever, you get like 10 skills or whatever, you can use it and you automatically get the skill. So we have a, um, we have a Naruto with uh, Shadow Clones, Rasengan, Sexy Jutsu, and the front of this one is on the very front. So next is Mizuki. Um, the cool thing about this game is that, um, they play it in order pretty much, um, they play it from the story mode, like as like the anime and the manga. So, basically, yeah, uh, I'm, yeah, I, th I think that's right. Third Okage, and then Mizuki. Yeah, that's. Right. So as you'll see, uh, he has the scroll now. Naruto is about to give him the scroll. Um, the jutsus are kind of like you have them already, so it's not story based. The jutsus you have, but yeah. Basically, we destroyed Mizuki. And yeah, again, at the very beginning, it's the leveling up is really, really easy, guys. So, every single time you will get Sakura. Well, I thought you get Yeah, you get Sakura the next time. 
Uh, you get this dude. You want to replace him as soon as you can. Now you get Sakura. And you'll put them on your team. So I'm putting Sakura on well, can, I guess. But yeah. So you have your team. And you're ready to go for the next one. Uh, next is Konohamaru. And it would be his friends. But I guess they didn't feel like adding him. So they put two uh, random dudes in there. Of course, Naruto pretty much demolishes them. And uh, yeah. The cool thing about this game is that they use the music from the anime, the original anime, the real Naruto. So if you, I'll turn it up all the way. As y'all as y'all heard right there, um, other than my death, um, you can hear the music. But the thing that sucks is that you can hear the jutsu, and it fucking demolishes your ears, dudes. Like it kills and reeks and god. Next is the battle with Sasuke, um, because Sasuke uh, is like, oh, I'm better than you, and all that shit. So Naruto gets mad, and basically uh, goes on and fucking destroys this dude. I believe Naruto doesn't die this one either. Oh, he does. And my Kanoha sentry is next to go. And next, this is the hardest one of this specific one, but it's not really hard because you have a full team. But you're going to get the Sensei Kakashi. As you see, Naruto almost won again. But eventually this will change and then Naruto isn't the best character and y'all quickly find that out. But yeah. So now I'm going to uh, go to the mail, uh, hot event. So if you log in every day that are on a new server, um, you get, like it has to be a brand new server and on the day you have, you can get uh, Kiranai Sensei. Um, uh, basically it's just a rank A which is really good, so yeah. Daily reward. Uh, to see what I can get, see if I'm lucky. Okay, so we'll. Sp I don't think I have enough money for that. Can we do? So I'll just spend it, see what I get. I only won though, see if I get lucky, and I don't, so. So yeah, as you'll see here, the next place is level 5, level 7, level 10. 13, 16, 20, and 24. Um, we can unlock those pretty fast, honestly, guys. But yeah. So now we'll continue going on. This is the Waves Kingdom. And basically, for the most part, after the very beginning, it does continue the story like it would. But you'll start fighting random people also in between them. So you're starting off with Geku Hayate. Um, basically, he's the dude that was always sick during the tuning in Sam's or whatever, the one that always coughed and died. Um, yeah, I need to really put that on there. This contains some retarded ass spoilers. Um, but yeah. Next is Oba. He's a really cool dude. Y'all will see later on in the future. And last is Genma. He was the dude at the final part of the tuning exams that was waiting for Sasuke and all that. And yeah. I guess honestly, guys, we'll keep going until uh, we don't lose. <laughs> uh, so we get to. This is not related to the anime at this part of the game. But yeah. Basically, at certain points, you go against one person instead of three people. And your goal is to just, like, kill them. Like, it's like a boss, kind of, I guess. And at the very beginning, these bosses are really, really easy. But then it does eventually get really hard. So as y'all see, as I said earlier in the last video, uh, you can only steal three times at VIP zero, but you can get all the way up to VIP. Uh, you can get all the way up to VIP like twelve, I think. So we'll learn a new jutsu, I guess, for Sakura. There 
and we learn Shikamaru's Shadow Hand. Um, any character can use any jutsu. You just have to, uh, you just have to get it basically. And we got another Sakura. <laughs> so what happens when you get another character is you have the ability to mix together, and when you mix together, you get another star, which makes your character stronger basically. So yeah, as you'll see, the quality of my soccer just got way up by like from 24.1 to 25.2. So yeah, we'll keep going until we lose one. <laughs> so this is another non-important kind of random people. Rodengan. Yeah, I know we learned that you also have the ability to lag toy if you pull him up enough times, which it would take a long time, you can get him up to like an S rank or whatever. But it's more easy just to get a real character. There is side branches, um to what they want me to do. Uh okay, forge gear, okay. So yeah, we're about to do this one now. Uh there are side branches that give you better rewards, but they're also way more difficult. <laughs> So as y'all see, there is three Chojuros, and if y'all know who that is, it's the, uh, I think it's the Mizukage's, I think, yeah, I think it's Mizukage, but it's basically, like, her henchman, like, aside from Owl, so yeah. And we managed to beat this one, it's not that easy later on, and y'all see that, but yeah. So now we have a green gear, which we can add to any player we want to, but I guess it's letting us pick soccer specifically, but yeah. This is the three tails now. And this is kind of off the screen at the moment, but yeah. He's a A rank, so there is a possibility we could die, but I mean, we probably won't. So I'm really tired, dudes. I woke up, I went to bed around... Like, um, I went to bed around 5, and I'll go around 10, so I'm really fucking ballsy tired. I do forget to mention, um, I guess I should have mentioned it earlier, but you don't really play the game, like, attack-wise. You don't attack the screen to attack or whatever. Uh, you basically just watch it go, and... That's kind of why the game is kind of fun, because you get to watch and see how your people me mess up. Like, one time you could lose on such an easy one, but then you, next time you could win so fast on the next time. So, I mean, it's kind of whatever. So, it destroyed this dude. And, yeah. Now we get the, I believe, yeah, this thing. So we'll go ahead and do this with Naruto. Because he'll be the one we keep to the very end until we get all Bs. And we get a uh, death bite from Orochimaru's dude. So we'll keep going. Ah, uh, good old awesome Asaru Tobi. So this is another boss, basically. Uh, he will probably destroy Naruto. Not gonna lie. But I mean, it's always luck on each one. Sometimes you can miss like every attack if you wanted to. Sometimes you'll like it every time. Yeah, you can also enchant your gear ten times. Uh, this is the most important part of the whole game, honestly, guys. It's just like a upgrading all your gear get in there I don't want to spend the extra gold but yeah so now we should be able to do a lot more damage and we should be able to do just a lot better in general Kage bunch no jutsu. 
Oh, that was a crit right there. That blew him up. This is Sarugi Misumi. Um, this is the one that Shikamaru killed, I believe. Or, you know, I forget which one it was, but it was in the Force of Death. So this one's kind of going into, like, the story a little bit, but yeah. I do forget to mention that there won't be a time limit for this one specifically, like this series, so these could go on for a while, but I'll end this one, I think, on this one. Yeah, I'll end it here, guys. Next time we will do Suigitsu again, and we have the possibility of reward of getting an iron bar. So that's it for this one, guys. If y'all enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah. Oh, this is Abuza, so we'll, now we have a, a B rank, so we'll put him right in our ranks, guys. So right here. And yeah, we go our Zabuza has to be Aquagon, guys. You and our team's a lot better probably. So that's it for this video guys. If y'all enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, peace out guys.